it is possible to show data from other software within the presentation. I'm going to work with some spreadsheet data, but it can be word processing, other presentations, it could be all kinds of things. There's two main methods. One's linking and the other is embedding. With linked data, you get links between the presentation and the original data, meaning that if the original data is modified, for example in a spreadsheet, then the presentation will also be updated. Embedded, however, basically just puts a mini version of the data in the presentation. There's no link to the original data, and data can still be changed in the presentation. However, it is not affected by the original data in the original application. All will become clear, I hope, um, and we're going to start with linking. I'll select a new blank doc slide. To work with objects, we do insert and then down to the object menu. First of all, notice we can create new objects based on any of these object types. So, for example, if you want to insert a calendar to your presentation, we can click on Calendar Control and OK. And there's your calendar object in the presentation. But that's not really what we're working with here, so I'm just going to delete that. So let's do Insert Object again. Insert Object. This time we're going to work with objects created from file because we've already got the data on our computer. This allows us to browse the computer for the document that we've previously created. And I've got one on my desktop. There it is, Video Popularity. And click on OK. Notice that I've got a tick box here, display the data as an icon. We can either just have the presentation show uh, the icon of Excel in the presentation that we can click on to get to the data or without the tick we can show the data itself. Now remember we are working with linked data here so we must remember to put a tick in the link box and OK. So there is our data from the spreadsheet works like any other object, we can resize it and move it around the screen. If we double click this object, it has the effect of opening the application relevant to the original data. In this case it's opened Excel, where we can make any relevant changes. So we might change the, um, the number of views the video has received down to perhaps 30 widen columns, make things easier to see, we can change formatting. All these changes that we make happen in our presentation as well. So don't forget to save your presentation, sorry, save the original data. and then close that down and there we can see our presentation again. So the benefits of this are that we can edit the data in Excel in the normal way. I did it there through PowerPoint but you could open the spreadsheet just normally without PowerPoint there, make the changes and then the next time you open PowerPoint the data will have been updated for you. You can also right click on the object to update the data Remember that we're working with links here though, so I've mentioned this once or twice in previous videos. If you're working with links, you have to really put all the documents in the same folder together so that you can take that folder with you when you deliver your presentation and know that the links will work. That's not always practicable and when we're using links to data in this kind of way, we have a little way that we can make things a little bit easier. What we can do is go and have a look at the links that the presentation has. Click on Edit and down to Links. And that brings up a dialog box with all the links that are available in our presentation. I've only got the one link here. From this dialog box, we can update the data. We can open the original data in its original application, 
this instance Excel and we can break the link. What this does is basically convert our linked data into a picture. That picture is no longer editable. If I double click on it, it just brings up the picture dialog box. We can't change that data. But that's fine to take a snapshot if you wanted to give the presentation away from that linked um, original data source. So that's linking. Um, and we can also embed. So I'm just going to go over embedding now, which is actually very, very similar. I'll just delete this object. We use the same process. We do insert object from file, browse, find the data that we want to work with, and OK. Again, we can display it as an icon. But this is the important difference. We're embedding the data. We're not linking it. So we don't put a link in the link box. We don't put a tick in the link box. We leave that as it is and click on OK. And there's our data. Again, it's an object. We can resize it and move it around. Looks very similar to what we've just been working with, except this time it's not linked to the original data. When I double click this to edit it, it's just opening like a mini version of Excel within the spreadsheet, within the presentation. And I can make my changes here in the normal way. Click off the object and the data has been updated. But the original data is still as it was. This is just the data that's been embedded into this presentation. So that's embedding and linking. Uh, embedding puts the data into your presentation, linking links it to the original data source.